For ADHD, niacin or niacinamide is, in my view, a very good approach, far safer than Ritalin or Adderall or any of the other drugs that millions and millions of children are being given every single day. I've taught school, my daughter taught school, my son taught school. We have seen the number of kids grow every year that are on one or more medications. Behavior problems are not due to a drug deficiency, <laughs> but they may be due to a vitamin deficiency. They may also be due to junk food and sugar overload. Dr. Hoffer would say to children who were his patients, he'd lean over to them and he'd say, no junk. And there wasn't a kid in the world that didn't understand what he meant. Get rid of sugar and junk food and bring in vitamin B3 or niacin or niacinamide and vitamin C. For a child, the amount of niacin and vitamin C will be lower than an adult. I know of one boy who was around 11 and he did pretty well on 1,500 milligrams of niacinamide a day, but he did far better on 3,000. And when he took uh, 4,000 milligrams a day, he was getting letters from the school, from the teachers, and phone calls telling the family how wonderful the child's behavior was. To get a child to take niacin or niacinamide in those quantities requires skilled parenting at home and the cooperation of the school nurse during the day. There are some schools and doctors and nurses that will collaborate with you so a child can have niacin during the day. In fact, this one child actually had their doctor write out a prescription, which the school nurse helped out with. So the child had niacin in the morning, then once or twice at school, and then niacin again when they got home. When the child had niacin all through the day in high quantity, the child's behavior was exemplary. It was just a fantastic uh, approach. Very, very successful. Then they changed school nurses. And the new school nurse refused to honor the prescription, if you can imagine that. And the child was not allowed at any niacin at all during the school day. The child's behavior was not as good. The family, of course, took up the slack and gave him more in the morning and more at night, but that wasn't as good as having it in divided doses. Remember, water-soluble vitamins, B-complex, vitamin C, these are best taken in divided doses because you tend to urinate them out during the day. So dividing the dose is very good. Do the best you can. One sneaky thing I did with my kids was I would buy chewable vitamins that were in the shape of hearts or, you know, they look like candy. And rather than go through the process of getting permission from the school, which was arduous if not impossible, we would just send uh, chewable vitamins with the kids and they could take them just like they would have uh, a treat uh, or a, a piece of candy at lunch or during snack time. We never had a problem doing that. Dividing the dose is good, niacin is good, vitamin C is good, no junk food, and get rid of sugar.